Hi YouTube, how are you? Hope you're well. I'm doing okay actually. Um, it's about two o'clock here in Minnesota, Pine City, Minnesota, USA. <laughs> um, I went out to build my horse and chicken a fire just to kind of spend some time with them and burn up some scrap wood that I had around and um, there was them little kitties I was telling you about. They were in my wood pile. Oh, and they're so cute. It's like I wish people would take care of their animals. I'm not going to feed them because they can get the mice out there, but they really are adorable. And I've taken strays in so many times. It's like people just got to thought about putting an ad on our local um, uh board and on Facebook and I might do that it's but I just hate to be like I got somebody straight you can do it's like what the heck what is this um animals are us no actually at one point in my life I wanted to open up like a kitty sanctuary but um that didn't work out and that's probably a good thing and then another time I tried to rent a, a ice skating arena that's closing down in our town that was closing down um, called the Cobal Arena and um, turn that into uh, after school study and arts and and stuff for kids like uh, oh and even a, even a TV and I thought like um, maybe like juice and PBJs, you know, that type of thing for kids that were, um, oh, what do you call them? Latchkey kids, you know, their parents aren't home. And it was right across the street from the high school. And I thought I could have like, uh, maybe donate somebody a donate like a pool table and whatnot. And, um, our city was all for it. They were going to go for it. But then the Coville Arena wouldn't rent to me. The, um, the city said, no, we can't do that because it was just outside the city limits. And I'm thinking, but the high school's right across the street, directly across the street. And it went kind of at an angle. And I thought, what's up with this, you know? But so for use you know even the um elementary kids i thought i'd keep them like keep them separated you know but um so that didn't that didn't work out for me but yeah i had thought about it i even went to the local stores and asked them if um i came up with a like a donation box could i set it in your uh, establishment and they said yeah a lot of people were like for it I asked like bankers and everybody around you know how would you feel about this type of thing for your kids in our town and how could people participate you know like who could help me and like with uh, not getting paid to do it just so I had enough gas money to get there rent the place and take care of the kids during the day you know, after school, like it, it open at like about two thirty, three o'clock, whatever. And then, uh, but that just didn't work out. And I had people that were going to rent or donate foosball tables and pool tables and a TV. And I mean, I had things going on and then the city council said, nope, we can't do this. And I went back to them and I said, could you just ask them? maybe we could put this within the city limits why not extend this is going to benefit everybody in our town and keep our kids off the street in the afternoons and the evenings give them something to do socialize in a clean healthy manner you know and it's like ah and it didn't work out as thinking yeah and that what a way to put god in kids hearts too just by an example you know so but it didn't work out that's probably why it didn't work out because there's a lot of that um, Satanistic bloodline around and boy, they put a kibosh on that. So anyway, but yeah, even when I was not feeling good enough to work a nine to five job in my life, 
I still had aspirations of helping in my life, you know, and I still do. I, I try. Um, I could not resist. I did go over to that person's page, um, channel, and I wrote, you hurt my feelings again. Because the first time it happened, I said, this is baloney, you know. People are like freaking attacking me and you're ignoring this crap. So I'm leaving for like, uh, um, he even attacked me. It's like, I'm gone. I'll come back in about a couple months and see if you changed your tune. Well, and it seemed like it. Because, I mean, when, when somebody will like, you say, hi, nice video. Have a great day or God bless your day hug. That's just me, you know. If I like somebody, I really will hug you. And I'm I'm not a big hugger, Richard. You are right. Absolutely right. But if I feel in my heart there's something God says, hey, tell this person hug because they need one, then I'm on it. It's like, yes, I will hug, you know. And, and it probably would be something different than you ever felt because... It is like a God hug, you know. So, um, anyway. But after I went and wrote that, I thought, okay, there's two ways I could take this. If he does put a heart next to my saying, you hurt my feelings, that can mean one or two things. He's happy he hurt my feelings, or there's a heart because he felt bad. But I did get a heart, so now I guess it's up to me to decide what did that mean, <laughs> you know. But, no, it's happened. It's happened on so many pages or channels, you know, like you're just a decent person and you actually are saying, hi, nice video. And then somebody will say something like, like, I'll call it like sucking up right next to me, but sucking hard. And they get a heart and I don't. And it's like, what is up? Why not do like, hey, I love that. I love that. I love that. Even if somebody's a little bit mean to me, I'll give them a love or I'll come, I'll comment and say, hey, um, maybe we can rectify that because I never like to leave anybody hanging. I want to get along with everybody like that. So yeah, that, but then that's just me. So I thought if um, this person truly is a man of God that he claims to be, maybe he will see that he actually did hurt my feelings. And I'm old enough to be his mother and um, have no designs on any kind of sexuality in my life for, for decades, you know, because of my principles, because I don't want anybody touching me that isn't worthy. And so that's not going to ever change, you know. All she wants to do is dance. And that is so true. I love to dance. I love to um, waltz and polka. And I do uh, like the shoddish is, uh, and butterfly are like uh, Scandinavian dances. I square dance. Um, I hip hop. Um I do a little bit of break dancing, not really the best. I do like a break dancing pool player, you know. Um, uh, let's see. I used to do a lot of like jitter bugging and two step like uh, um, country music, line dancing, whatever, everything, everything, right down to uh, Swahili, everything. There's not a culture in this world that I've seen their dance that I didn't imitate because I just love dancing. I took ballet. I took tap. Um, though I thought about taking jazz, but there's something about some jazz, and even it gets too bluesy. If something's like way bluesy, I have to be in a perfect mood to be able to handle it. Even with some country, it's like I... I can't always handle it. Sometimes. I grew up around an awful lot of country music, but yeah. Not that I wanted to, but <laughs> that's the way it turned out. So, yeah. So, 
I did pray about it. I asked God, you know, if he really is not a man of God, then bring him down or help him up. One of the two, you know, but just don't let this go because, you know, um, when people's feelings get hurt and somebody's intentionally doing it, it needs to be addressed. That's with everybody. You deserve, um, the word would be, it isn't revenge, it's, it's, um, not even recognition. What, I'm, I'll, I'll think about it and I'll be back on that one. Oh, tonight I'm gonna, um, tell a bedtime story or a daytime story for my friends across the way. Um, I'll tell a creation story in the form of a bedtime story. Maybe I'll make it part one. I think I will. And then I, that'll give me time to bring other things into it because this is a very long story. <laughs> so that would be a best way to do it, I'm thinking. So I think I have a cat here in my eye. Excuse me. Um... Oh, I was still thinking what a person when they've been done wrong, what you deserve, you deserve, um, give me a minute here. It's important and it starts with an S, um. Take a sip of my coffee, maybe it'll come to me. Just can't grab it right now. Hmm. Odd. Hey God, can you help me here? What's the word? <laughs> Just can't, can't grab it right now. I don't know why. Maybe God's saying it is vengeance. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to make it a softer version. Maybe that's it. I just can't get it right now. Um, hmm. That's odd. Wow. Anyway, them kitties are like yay big about like that tall and they're underneath the logs and they can go from underneath the logs into over by the hay where some of that's stacked up and keep warm and catch mice. And I said to him, I go, are you hungry? And the little one, little calico goes, yeah. And I go, you missed your mommy. And they came out to talk to me and then, um, my dog barked out of jealousy and they scooted back into the wood pile. It's like, oh, darn it. But I I wasn't going to pet them. But if they, they were creeping up closer, a little black and white one and the little calico one. And it's like, oh, shoot, poor little things. So, yeah. Yeah, I just can't grab that word. Darn it, I hate when that happens. If I remember it, I'll, I'll tell you. I guess I won't dwell on it. And then um, that's what I was going to do today anyway. I was going to say what I had to say and then just ask God, hey, take this person out of my heart and let me set this aside. I have things of my own to talk about for my own people and I can't get caught up in my own crap. So I thought, no, nope, don't let this happen. Keep me strong like that. So he did. And in fact, by last night, by the time I went to bed, it was like, well, I'll probably watch this person again just to see what's going on with, uh, oh, the scriptures. <laughs> but, um, 
one one man's opinion of the scriptures and um to see how they do correlate with mine because actually i think some of you know me like this if you're saying something that i think is going to lead somebody else astray i don't mind calling myself a dog i'll be on your ass like a wild dog like a really wild dog and i won't give up until people know that they're being led astray so that's just kind of how i am like that so Oh, I think the word what didn't start with an S. I was thinking rectified. When when you've been hurt, I feel like I need to rectify it. Not just get vengeance. Oh, no, no, no. This shit needs to be fixed. <laughs> you see, maybe, maybe punishment will be entailed in all that, you know. But I'm not. It's like I swatted my dog this morning and I still feel bad. And I was telling Doug, I just hate the fact that I was around so much violence that I would lower myself to swat my dog. So, and she was naughty, but um, it's like, yeah, I spanked my kids too, but not a whole bunch. And then there was a point where I said, enough is enough, you know, so. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty crappy about that. But she she does know how to go outside and go potty, and she's been pottying by the door. And it's like soaking into the wood, you know. So, I mean, I clean it the second it's there. I'll put newspaper on it. and then. But this morning after I swatted her, I literally made myself sick. I took a couple aspirins, and I laid back down. I mean, I didn't beat her. I took my hand and swatted her butt, you know, and not hard, you know, but it's like still just that action. Maybe I wasn't feeling good when I did wake up to let her out, you know, but yeah, I don't know. See, she wants to get out early, early. She hears the kids at the school bus and that's about 730. So if I'm not up at 730 on the nose, um, she'll go pee on the floor, then she'll come and tell me she has to go out. So when I do get up, a lot of times I'll leave and step in it because I don't see it. I'll forget to look. Well, it doesn't happen every day, but lately it's been happening. And it starts happening mostly for me around here is hunting season. And it just really hurts all the animals emotionally. Me too. It frazzles our asses. We're in a, we're, I live in a meadow. I have hills all the way around me. And, um, so when people are blasting, we feel like we're it. We feel, we hear everything all the way around us like that. It's like, it is nerve wracking. So, yeah. And we're still in hunting season right now. First you get the birds and the squirrels, the small game. And then uh, bear, and then um, uh, bow hunting for uh, deer, and then the guns, and sometimes they'll extend that and the bow hunting. So this year, I don't know, sometimes they limit how many bucks you can take, and you can only take a doe, that type of thing. So, but yeah. And we have moose, and I heard that there be some caribous coming down through Canada. We're not too far from uh, uh, the Boundary Water Canoe area, so, um, which is the Canadian border, just pretty close. A few hours you can be there, <laughs> you know. So, one time when Doug and I were younger, we... Uh, had this car called the American Rambler, and it was a really comfortable do um, dog, yeah, car. We had our big dog buddy with us, and we were heading to Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, and so, but, I mean, I wasn't driving, but I did have, like, uh, this is 
quite some time ago. I had, a, oh, I think a half a pint of Canadian Windsor whiskey. And Doug had some beer. And so we took a rest and we had a little bit and got a little silly. And we went up this one road by Duluth by Lake Superior that was the Air Force base. And next thing we know, I think it was the M4. Here's the soldier. He's holding the M4 asking where we're going. And we're like, we don't know. We're just out driving, you know. And we got this huge dog in the back. And the dude's kind of laughing, but not. And um, I had some herb on me, too. It's like, oh, no, I'm screwed, <laughs> you know. But... um. Well, anyway, we went into Canada, and we went, and it was, uh, oh, probably 3 o'clock in the morning or so by then, and on the way up, it did start raining, and up in the mountains, one of these giant rocks fell off the mountain into the road, and there was people coming from the other way, and I was worried about them. We went around the rock, but um, it was on their side of the road, so it was treacherous so anyway we get up into Canada and over on the but when we got over there their beer was like about um we should have bought beer in in the before before it got too late when the stores were closed be in the city because when we got up into Canada it was something like god sixteen dollars for a six pack or something just totally crazy I can't remember what it was but we were partying so um we ended up going back into the states but um when we were getting checked through we had this huge dog I had to take him out and we had to go in and they were checking our car and whatever and um they seen one of Doug's beer cans, and I'm thinking, oh, no. And I think it was, like, in the trunk or something. I can't remember. But I'm thinking, we are so screwed, you know. But we weren't. God took care of me. I was sitting there praying, and it's like, that was so stupid. Just a stupid, stupid night. And we never did make it to Thunder Bay. We ended up turning around and going back through customs and that was a crazy day. <laughs> Those were, um, I literally, we ran away from home from my teenage sons, let them have the house, said, keep it warm, don't let the pipes freeze, and we'll be back, because they literally had become very animalistic in their life. Um, my youngest one picked up his brother and body slammed him on his head, and just about broke his neck and to this day he still has a neck injury then when the youngest one and the oldest one were living in an apartment together one time the youngest one came in and or maybe it was the other way around one of them i had this happen punched me in my sleep not my kids but um woke me up being punched you know so it's like okay that's just wicked 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 so but anyway so yeah they were pretty violent and martial artists too and uh can't want me though <laughs> i'm just saying but uh yeah they're pretty pretty stealth you know i guess you would say um in form you know for fighting maybe not anymore i haven't seen my oldest one but I highly doubt that that left him, you know. I, I kept my kids so physically fit, and when they did go to live with their dad, um, after five and a half years, I was raising them by myself. And uh, Well, anyway, after they came back um, three years later, I knew they would be different, and they were. But I guess that's the road God has to have to have them go down you know so but anyway so yeah like I said I'm gonna just I'm not gonna make a make fun out of creation or tell you that I know everything 
I'll just say that things to consider that could possibly make great sense is just the way I'm looking at it. I'm sure everybody's curious the number one thing that none of us will really understand until we grow to that stage is how could one thing create everything and where did one come from you know that always was and always will be that is beyond our grasp of understanding and just being that i know i'm human and that skin and everything even that's beyond even water it's beyond really beyond understanding how everything came about as a human being it really is so all i can do is really tell you a story so i'll just tell a story later tonight <laughs> you know so I thought I'd get on here and tell you that I actually am feeling pretty good today. I'm not going to let anything get in my way of getting in touch with people and telling them, hey, no worries. As strong people in this world, we got this. We will stop this cabal crap, you know, and it really does need to stop. You know, we can't have a world that allows people to hurt other people it just is intolerable it's not natural it's like me feeling bad for smacking my dog you know spanked her on her butt but still you know to me that even that is intolerable so and mean words and the way people treat each other and it just it's sickening but you know what's more sickening to me? And this really is. People that pretend they love everybody. Pretend they are of God. And that's the worst to me. If you're pretending you're a Christian and you really do not love everybody. Because I know I talk mean a lot of stuff. But... If somebody's hurt, I don't care what you look like or who you are or who you're portraying, what your sexual preference is, who you are, I'm going to help you. I will save your life if I can. So, um, like I said, I talk a big at badass game, and I am, but I would never, ever hurt somebody. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, my mouth does. Yes, I know it does. And. I ask forgiveness. I know there's a um, couple younger people that have come at me with um, not just lack of understanding, but I know they must have had cruel moms. And I'll tell you what, ladies, there's nothing that makes me, I you might have heard my story about I started singing Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. Uh, I was out, I had a couple beers, but I wasn't inebriated, but I heard this woman being mean to her four-year-old daughter in the bathroom of this place. <coughs> I had a balcony to overlook um, Lake Superior and very beautiful, my, one of my favorite places. So, But this woman wrecked my day being mean to her little kid, and I was going to say to her brat, but... <laughs> No, she wasn't a brat. She was a beautiful little girl. And uh, the woman was a brat. And she made me a brat. God, I was mad. And I just can't, I can't tolerate it. I will say something. If I see a woman, like I see women or people ganking on their kids or talking mean to their kids or, you know, even if I was like uh having to talk mean up my kids i'd even throw a little humor in there you know what i mean you gotta soften the blow sometimes and coldness you know just the pure cold is what i felt and god it pissed me off so i know some ladies out there have come at me like you're that age group you could be my mom but i'm not your mom 
I'm I'm the warrior that will take your mom and slap her in her fucking head for being mean to you. That's who I am. <laughs> you know. And the same with you guys. That's just who I am. I mean, I won't hurt your mothers or your fathers. I'm just saying they'll they wouldn't be the same after meeting me. That's a fact. So that's just who I am like that, you know. But yeah. <laughs> so but I'm gonna let it go. It's a little bit after a half hour here. Um I love you all. I really do. You're very awesome people, huh? Um I really can't say any more. I can tell through your writing and just know. I know. You know, I can tell the things that have happened to you in your life just by I just do. I know. And I'm not too pleased about it either. Not not what happened to you or what you did after things happened. I mean about what happened to begin with. That's what I'm pissed about. So just know I care. I do love you bunches. All you. Thank you for joining me. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. I mean that, everybody.